Welcome everybody to the Truck King YouTube channel. So spring has sprung here in Southern Ontario. So we're out at Gimme Shelter RV today to have a look at a new trailer. Now this is the Flagstaff Micro Light and it's a smaller couples type trailer and people are anxious to get out there. So let's start with the walk around right now. So what we're looking at here today is the Flagstaff Micro Light. So this trailer has a dry weight of right around 4,100 pounds. You can also put almost 1,500 pounds of cargo in here. So you're right up in that 5,600 pound gross weight. Now that's a perfect weight for mid-sized pickup trucks. We towed this trailer with two of them today, the Tacoma and the GMC Canyon look for those reviews on the channel but this will also tow really nicely with some of the larger SUVs out there so knowing that you've got a wide range of vehicles that you can pair up to this trailer this 22 foot unit is tandem axle comes with a single slide and it's right in the meat of the market price wise how can you tell well first of all this smooth sided fiberglass reinforced plastic walls and when we get to the windows, you'll notice that these are frameless automotive glass style. So as we work our way around, let's take a look at some of the features. While we're up front here, let's start with storage. Storage is so important. Now, little things you'll notice, these are magnetic. So you simply slap them up and they stay there. This particular trailer also offers you a pullout cargo bench. This goes all the way through to the other side, and when we get there, we'll look there too. There's actually quite a bit of space in here, so you can take all your gear with you. So, as you can see, the slide is open right now. Smart thing that these guys do is they give you access to the inside. You're actually looking at the back of the couch here, and you wonder why. Well, because you've got about a foot of space here. And whereas that may not sound like a lot in a small trailer, every square inch counts it's nice to have that access we get over here to the connections this is fairly typical but you do have an outside shower there's a 30 amp service here that's a good number most everybody gives you 30 amps and then you have your various water your inputs your tank flushes and then all the controls dump controls again fairly typical right below easy to access let's work our way around to the back there's no window on the back of this unit, and you'll see why when we get inside. What we're looking at here is actually the back side of the refrigerator. Nevertheless, you do have that ladder for roof access, and this is frankly more so for maintenance than for partying up there, but yeah, you knock yourself out. Once we get to the front of the unit, one of the things that you're really gonna notice is that they encourage you to be outside. I mean, look at the size of that awning compared to the total length of this trailer. That's also a powered awning. Once that gets out, there's also a nice table that they give you that fits very perfectly right into this. You've also got 110 power here. You've got speakers outside. You've got lighting outside. These are all things that you're gonna want when you set up your outdoor living room. And last but not least, we work our way back to this front storage space this runs under the head of the bed and i really want to point out how big that is again only a 22 foot unit there's a lot of storage here so i just came in i wanted to also point out that those steps fold out hit the ground there's nothing bouncy about them now what's interesting about this unit again 22 feet this is really meant for couples and that's either younger couple or older couple and you can have some overnight guests, generally people that you can't get rid of, I suppose, but it's pretty much meant for two people. Now, you've only got so much space in here, so they've made some very specific choices. The one is to give you a large kitchen space. So when you take a look at this, the first thing you realize is that where's the fridge? Well, the fridge is right at the back of the unit over here, and by doing that, they've freed up more counter space 
and they've allowed themselves a little entertainment column over here, which is directly across from the couch. Now, one of the things that you would expect to see in a unit like this is a built-in dinette. Well, that doesn't exist here. Instead, what you have is this table. And this table, these legs fold down. This is perfect because you move this to where you want it when you want it. When you don't want it, you close it up. It opens up all this inside space. And for that matter, a lot of people will simply take this outside and set it up underneath the awning. And that means that you get a full-size couch in here. Not a little love seat, but a full-size couch. And as I mentioned, for those overnight guests, this will help you out. Ah! Like that. Okay. So, and after they've slept on that once, they won't bother you ever again. <laughs> Don't film this part. Too late. Ah! Okay. All right, let's have a look at the kitchen. I mentioned the kitchen because I'm looking at it and it strikes me that, first of all, I get a lot of counter space, but they've also given me a little additional flip up counter here and when I look at my stove I get a nice size oven again this is something that you don't get in a lot of units a lot of units these days it's either you get the microwave or you get the stove and only in some do you get both so I like that also we have dual sinks with the cutouts you can leave one of these in you still get to use the sink again that gives you some space and when you take a look around, you'll see a lot of cupboards and storage. And of course, that matters. Trust me, once you get out there, you seem to accumulate stuff. And furthermore, it's nice to be able to put your things in here and then leave them in here, not constantly be moving them from the house to the trailer to the trailer to the house. So let's have a look at the bathroom. Bathrooms, of course, are important. Flystaff has done a smart thing by putting this into the rear corner because that gives them this corner shower with the rounded glass enclosure. And what I'm seeing is that pretty much anybody could fit in there. And of course, you got the little skylight, so even people who are well over six feet are going to do fine in there. In addition to which, they go one step further and give you quite a bit in the way of cupboard space and you still get a full medicine cabinet as well as storage underneath that sink. Okay, so let me step into the bedroom. Okay, I'm in. So, good sized bed. Nice to have the glass at the head of the bed. Across the bed we've got two windows that open, give you a cross breeze, as well as the skylight which also cranks open for air again and i'm going to sound like a broken record lots of good storage in here the other thing too is smaller units sometimes you can only get around to one side of the bed here you have access on both sides of the bed and once you get in here you've got hanging cupboards these are perfect for shirts etc you've also got space down below but the big deal is this I mean, a full-sized space for quilts, for comforters, blankets, sheets, etc., in addition to some drawers down there. So they've made use of every possible nook and cranny. So this is definitely a three-season unit, which means you've got a heater, you've got air conditioning, everything is ducted nicely through the roof, you can run this from the first day of camping season, like today when it's still pretty cold, and get yourself well up past Thanksgiving. And everything that you've seen in there today is pretty much part of the packages that come with these units. So now you're asking me, well, what the heck does it cost? So here at Gimme Shelter, this unit today is $30,700. Call them up come take a look at it this is a nice unit and it'll get you out on the road this summer and let you forget all about COVID so everybody that's it 
for this one. We're glad to get this first trailer test into the bag. This is not the last one. Season's just starting. So we're gonna be cranking these out in the warmer months to come. So please come back often, take a look at what we're testing next. And while you're there, please hit subscribe and hit the join button, become part of the channel. And in the meantime, Steve and I see ya, thanks.